sneaky room in that number one spot for one team. And you can see the folks over at Betway, they seem to believe that team might just be complexity. Yeah, well, let's see if they're correct. It's Mirage to start, the pick of Cole. We get into the action, but Big have loved this map. This is probably Tapson, or one of Tapson's best maps. Uh, Zantaras as well is going to be very comfortable towards his B bomb site. And here we go. It's the B rush. Complexity with five alive, coming fast into the site. Tizzy is going to drop poison. The quick taps for the P2K. Zantaras, brutal start. Bomb dropped. Cole, where the hell do you go from here? Oh, well, apparently you keep going into B. You don't really have any other choices. And in doing so, they all get cut down. That will be the uh, the round falling in favor of the big boys to begin this game. Still a little B-hold from Zantares. I, man, I don't even like, whenever I watch Zantares play, it gets to me because he makes the game look too easy. Like, you know, I, I, I want to go play. I want to go long into the server. Hugo, we literally made this mistake last night after we were watching some highlight clips. Yeah. You think you're going to be able to do it like a man like Zantares does it? Nope. No, no, <laughs> it's just not you just, as easy you, you as watch them and you're like, oh, see, it's easy, man. You just gotta, you gotta stand there and you gotta aim at the head. That's simple. Anyone can do it. As Trace often says, man, Counter Strike's easy. Well, it's not. That's the, the difficult part. Uh, complexity, well, they figure that out the hard way in the pistol round. Blown out of the water by Big. And a force in the second. It does find Look a kill. Look at Look at him go. Searson's Adventure. Uh-oh. A three-part trilogy. <gasps> oh. Coming soon. And here he is. Oh, they're holding for it. Here we go. This is a little unexpected turn of events. He's going to get on out of there. Never even makes it past the pilot. And Config taking the head off of another man in the meantime. Complexity sat in a four on three. And Big in a bit of an awkward spot. At least with Searson still hyper aggressive in the B apartments. It kind of frees up Zantares a little bit more. Searson isn't going to have any information on mid. So Zantares is spotting it, but he just has to bear that in the back of his mind. He is going to be here to support Keto at the A bomb site. And I think he just spotted the arm there at ramp. He's posted it up. He's ready to go, but he's taking this fight out in the open and wow. blame F. My goodness. Yeah, he completely blindsides Zantares. Keto now the last man standing will get one with the MP9, but he's getting swarmed. And this leaves Searson all alone in the 1v3. Yeah, no kit either. So the second this bomb's planted, the chances really fly out the window. He has gone through the smoke, but Blame's going to find him off at the back of a swing. Nice play from Blame, man. He is very aware. And honestly, I think, you know, Cole needs to be, oh, sorry, Big needs to be worried with Blame in the server after his performance yesterday. We had complexity taking on Mad Lions. And in the map of Vertigo, uh, the map pick of the Danes, uh, Blame went 29 and 6. He was like 20 and 3 at halftime. It was just unreal. So, yeah. Big Boy Blame is here to play, and they're going to break the money of Big nice and early. A force by win for Complexity in the second has put Big on pistols. Searson's on that scout. we got Deegs behind it. Tara's looking for a pick mid-side, and if you're Complexity, you don't want to hang around in that angle because you know he's going to pre-fire it. Tara's looking for that kill, but nothing presenting itself. Poison does move out. Lots of rifles here for Complexity. Far better than the second round buy for Big, but that's just how the economy can often treat you after winning the pistol. Cole had full mid control, taking the catwalk as well, even Connector being smoked off. Big get info towards a ramp, but right now they're considering a B stack and they might just be right. Yes, this is slowly but surely cheating his way over towards this B side of the map. However, only Zantares here, and not for much longer. He gets put in the dirt. This now leaves Searson trying to hold the line, and obviously he's not going to be able to find anything here as now they try and retreat to hold on to these weapons. And Complexity, they're already trying to get ahead of the curve. They're already trying to shut down this save. They don't really even have much to gain from chasing this. And they're just trying to remove every little piece of resistance Ooh. that Big might have into this next round. If I'm Tabson, I'm freaking out right now, man. You've just been hit by that name. <laughs> you haven't even made any noise. You haven't even done anything in Palace. And he's just going to keep on trying to hold his ground. It looks like they will get away with these weapons. Uh, so a second round now on the board for Complexity. No money for Big in this follow-up round. Something that's important to note is that, uh, and this is something you always like to see for this guy in particular, Searson saving the extra money. You'll note he's got $1,000 more almost than anyone else on his team. That's so he can bring the AWP out into this first buy round. But this buy round isn't happening here and now. And it's just going to be pistols that were carried forward. 
the one of them for big. <laughs> and the scout as well. Yeah, so just going for the mo through the motions for complexity, a chance to make money, but also instill some fear in the hearts and minds of Big. We do have an under push in this round from a P250. The scout in connector has not been seen because Blame Smoke well, hid the barrel until Blame already walked past it. He is going to be watching his backline. Those Antares has to be careful towards B. Blame is dead to that scout. So quick. Config does follow up, though. He's cleared out B and the market. Dinking Sears in the backline. Here's that flank from underpass. It all feels like it's all too little too late. And this is an early play from Tizian. One that Complexity might not expect. Poison's going to go back and check, but he sees nothing. Tizian waiting. Might just be looking for exit. Searson is getting them, and he might have more delivered to him as well. Complexity don't want to throw throw guns away in this round. This is meant to be an eco from Big. And so Cole really is just looking to keep as many guns alive as possible, but that is not looking easy. Keto drops poison atop the boost. And if anyone exits apartments, Tizian is waiting for that. Doesn't seem like that will be the case, but actually I say that the time is low. They're going to come and Tizian, oh, this is perfect. He can kill both players here. He knows he drops the first, even some damage. Oh, no. Open up Oboe to the bomb, but nice work from Oboe. He gets out alive and at least saves one gun for complexity. That being said, very effective eco round for big. They do a lot of damage. Yeah, and I tell you what, these two kills for Searson actually carry a little bit of weight for him as an individual as well. He makes $600 on the back of that, and now you'll see him at 5.9k. That actually facilitates a, an AWP buy with armor behind it, and he'll decide against that. He keeps the scout forward into this round here and now. We're going to have to wait and see how this one pans out, because I've got mixed mixed kind of feelings about it but you know it makes sense right like if you've got the scout you don't you know you can keep a bit of extra money in the bank it is still i think a risk but it's one that you could definitely afford to to take considering they got four kills in the last round the, the value of this bias you know you can reset cole really hard so that's in the back of the mind and so complexity need to be very careful here they can't afford to be reckless and lose players if they have like a lock in round right when you have those post part that's why i feel like you know complexity get very eager when they know they've won the round and they start hunting it It doesn't cost them rounds but it costs them guns and, and guns well losing guns can cost you rounds and cost you games it all has a you know an effect a long-term effect so complexity they need to keep it clean keep them keen and they run in towards b nice entry from oboe he doubles up bomb can immediately get planted and that's already a done round pig they try and throw a problem, uh, throw a tabs at the problem, but he gets removed. And with that big, won't even consider it an immediate save. If Tabson gets a kill, then maybe they can, you know, try and get back into the round. But in a two on five, you're just looking to save your gun. Searson, nice shot, man. He's really looking warm today. Three and one, but some excellent kills off the back of this scout. And I think that's a must have for Big, right? You know, having Searson on form. He was good yesterday in, you know, two out of the three maps we had against Mal Sports. One of them, he, he was silent, and that really was a problem for Big back on Nuke. So a map they lost in overtime. Searson luckily stepped up for the rest of the series, and he's here to play today. That being said, 4 1 lead for Cole. Money certainly has been made. Yeah, thanks to Searson uh, having all this extra money, you actually could look for another buy here if you're big. Uh, you know, he's got 7k, he could drop two M4s into play, Keto can drop a gun over as well. So you would have full rifles yeah. here over on the big side. You're going to be lacking the AWP, but that's uh, that's pretty much it. Now, the wisdom of many, Twitch chat has predicted big to win every game they've been in so far. So that means that thus far, Twitch chat are on a bit of a roll. Yeah, probably better than our analysts as well, you know, worth keeping that in mind. So, you know, we'll, well be, uh, we'll be replacing... We always, I think we always knew, yeah. really, yeah. the the majority of Twitch chat is at least smarter than Pimp, at least. Exactly, we'll but be replacing more, that's Pimp. a bit of a push, right? Yeah. Like, because he's a pretty smart dude, works over at Dig, right? Like, <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta have a calm idea on your shoulders there, but this Pimp guy, I don't know, he's just a streamer, right? So... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like he's played at the highest level of Counter-Strike, you know, in a major playoffs or anything. No, 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 don't be silly. How could he know what he's talking about? Well, right now, 
Plexi, they're talking the talk, they're walking the walk as well. And to good effect, 4-1 lead, big, go for a half buy. I actually really, really like this decision. They actually, like you said, Harry, they could have had a full buy. Kito could have dropped an orb, Sears and two M4s, and there would have been five guns, two AKs, and an orb. And that would have been a really good buy, but big want the utility behind it. They want the kits to follow, and so they will take an eco here. Even with this being an eco, they can still win it, and they're a man up right now. Blame, oh, he gets checked, but quick reaction, turns onto Tabson, keeps him in a four. Yeah, Searson trying to swing back into the connector, looking for this trade, and it's not the man he was looking for, but he'll take it nonetheless. However, while all this has gone down, Obo has opened up B, and Batizian, the man tasked with trying to rotate in and hold down the site, you really don't envy his position. He's armored only a Deagle. There's no one else on big, really within earshot. Slowly but surely, Kito is getting in through CT spawn, so we'll be here. Searson. He's already on a double on this round. Has crept up through the catwalk, and no one is aware of this. No one's watching it. Searson blindsiding Obo. Oh, oh and the follow-up. Searson is on for the ace. He had one of the two rifles in this round, and both of those rifles, by the way, are still standing. We needed them to be the heroes for big, wow. and they certainly are. Searson with the ace. This man is a ghost. He just disappears, reappears, and haunts them till the very end of time. Defuse is going to come on in, and it's big to secure that round. A second on the board. I could tell from those scout shots, Harry, in the first couple of rounds that we had uh, no, someone not to be messed with. Wow. And maybe the pixels aren't there, but the performance is for Searson. That's, Great actually, like, that's actually pretty cool in that shot, man. It looks like... Uh, I feel like I'm looking at big playing in, like, 1.6 or something. Like, you know, <laughs> like they've created the map there. And... Uh, Ooh. It's weird. I swear I've seen that look in more HD. So that might just be a temporary thing. But we'll have to wait and see. Big might need to change the change the res. But right now, everything else is going to plan. A big eco win for Big and Complexity. are just going to hound that B bomb site. Look at how quick Config's up Cat. Centaurus is considering this issue. They know he's here, but he doesn't want to commit to the swing and get taken down. Config going to clear the corner and Antares drops him immediately. Tizian now with a crossfire and Complexity have lost their split with the third rotate from big this b site is no longer looking like a simple uh, simple take for complexity and they're gonna look elsewhere instead bail out back towards t spawn they go and that's a good call big had a triple setup there complexity would have been walking into their doom their demise potentially and no one wants that so back to middle they go in the meantime, notice Big have pushed the other areas of the map. Kito, Kito has cleared out Palace. And even if he doesn't push here, I love it when players stop. This provides so much information. Not only can you get the footsteps from T-Spawn and Ramp, but if an A play does come through, whether that be through Connector or even just Ramp, you can come in and backstab it. Complexity, though, they've grouped up. They've gone back towards B, and Big have dispersed somewhat. But they've actually still got a double cat set up with that boost in play. Yeah, the old double threat at Tabson. And Zantares. And this is uh, this is something that maybe could work in Big's favor as well. Because now as they dismantle this boost, you're going to spot two players at Cat. And if you're complex, you might think that's it for the B-hole. Oh. So no one is looking at Tizzy and no one is ready for him. And he'll mow them all down with Tabson and Zantares fighting alongside him. It's a nice, clean round for Big. They only lose one man. And, and as you pointed out, Hugo, this all is helped out by that... Uh, by that guy being pushed aggressively into Palace, yeah. getting the information to facilitate this heavier B presence for Big. The taps and times that smoke perfectly, right? He drops it on the catwalk right as complexity go for that contact B play. He had no info there, and that allows both boosted players, both cat players, to look at apps and help Tizian. So complexity, they want another go at it. They want another shot back to B, and a fast one at that. Fast tech nines. Tizian's so blind, but he does get the spray off for one. No more. Zantares needs a double here. He needs a multi kill because he's still stuck side of the site and this gun can be picked up if he doesn't that's a second for Santares bomb as well config tries to take him down but instead loses the package and with that likely the round will follow blame in a clutch that he can't compete with taps and drops him and big will pick up the round equalizing the score as well 4-4 Yeah, this is a great little uh, recovery from Big thus far. And, you know, I think the fact that we've got both Zantares and Sears giving us some terrifying looks in these first few rounds, certainly going to make for an exciting series.
especially when you think about that big matchup yesterday where Sia said it felt like it took him a map to kind of really get rolling, yeah. right? But like today, nah, just straight away, showing up, hitting these shots, and that's what we want to see. And I think that's the kind of heat you need to bring if you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe versus a bunch of guys like yeah. Complexity. Especially considering how tough this game is, right, in terms of, you know, not only the opponents you're up against, but, but what it means inside of the group. Going 2-0 up will put you at the top side of your group uh, in, in a group stage, in a round-robin format where three teams make it out. So, you know, you want to be the tippity top. You want to get as far forward as you can. And, of course, you know, I guess play the least counter-strike as possible to a degree, right? Not that you want to get eliminated in two maps, but in that you want to, you know, guarantee yourself the deepest spot in the tournament you can as easily as you can. Well... One of these teams will be making that happen. 4-4 four, four in the first map, though. Complexity's pick and a slow T-side rifle round. They've gone for a lot of fast B plays. Now it's time for a change of pace. Let Big start to work and see if they get aggressive. See if they try and push or prod. Complexity are waiting for that and are ready to punish if so. Yeah, and in this round, Big, they almost seem very, very prepared for this heavy mid-presence. No one's even really holding the apartments on B. Both players have doubled up at cap. Now, that peak down through ramp feels a little bit overzealous. And while all this madness has gone on, Config and Poison, they've carved a path up through the connector. And Poison, yeah, he's trapped. But we got faith in him to hit that shot, and he will land it. A second found in the round for him. And even though it all comes to a close pretty quickly, there was a lot going in favor of complexity there, right? Even if they didn't find these immediate two frags needed to close the round out, with config wrapping through CT spawn, control of the A site taken, that round just felt like a matter of time for complexity. Yeah, it certainly didn't help that Keita got flashed into ramp, but he didn't like he just didn't seem away. He didn't clear the corner. The flash didn't work. Something happened, and you know, with him dying there, imme immediately complexity just play off the back of it. They're so good at reacting to what happens in the game without thinking to just uh, immediately you know have some kind of follow up and look at how quick complexity are taking kills and control in this round. A quick mid pick followed up with connect to control. Config fires off at the catwalk, drops another man, and already. It's a five on three for Cole. Really, really nice uh, play from Config and Co. Him and Blame in the middle area. Blame's going to reroute back through Spawn with the bomb to execute upon A. Rush, he's got no smoke left. I imagine he threw his early middle, so Blame's going to be the only one able to throw proper util over this site. Oboe will drop another smoke in the connector. And Molly in the window, just trying to keep Big out of here. And, well, they've done that at least. You can see Big's gamble towards B. Big are putting three here in the anticipation that if Complexity come B, they will have a chance in a three on five. And if Complexity go A, well, Big will just save. So it looks like Big are just going to save. <laughs> That's, We've uh, got our best detective on yeah, the case, yeah, Harry yeah, Russell. We figured this one out. Uh, yeah, you know, you provided all the evidence brilliantly, Hugo, when it's all laid out plain as day like this in front of me. Thanks, Your Honor. It is certainly feeling like a, a saving verdict here. Ten years. Ten years. Oh, uh, well. From ten years to tenants, as they're up in the apartments, and they're not looking to get evicted anytime soon, a big. They're trying to hold on to these rifles, and they look like they're going to get away with it, I'll be honest. You know, this is a pretty interesting... I was going to say interesting. That's completely the wrong word. This is a pretty boring round. Yeah. Uh, it, is just, it is just complexity hiding at ramp. Reason is, they're not too keen to go hunting, as we kind of mentioned early on, right? They were very, they were very, very keen to take, like, these... Uh, these attempts on the saving players and now they've kind of moved away from it and, and justifiably so you know this game's gotten a lot closer than it was in the early stages and you want to build up your own money and five players staying alive is a great chance to do exactly that so complexity they take that chance in their stride and now they go six four up there is still going to be a reinvestment coming through for big so the grind will continue for complexity however if they pick up a victory in this round here and now and players aren't allowed to save or not enough players save then they definitely can look to really just leap ahead on the back of the money so let's keep our eyes peeled see if that plays into it searson's going to get oh. boosted up into ladder room taking an extra second or so to get up here but that matter they have gotten deep within mid and nice. Searson flicking back best poison and blame F and even lives to tell the tale he gets out through short side and now Oboe was trying to go through this con smoke decides against it with a molly falling behind him he finds himself trapped in connector complexity in a three on five and this is all thanks to Searson 
opening this up at short. It's worth noting for those who, who don't know, like why that's such a good play from Searson to get boosted. Because if you were going to AWP from Catwalk and, and to get there, you would have to go through B. The timing is late. Complexity already mollied that position. And because of the boost, Searson's in ladder. So he can peek ahead of the Molotov. Complexity completely discount the position because they think, oh, it's Molly. There's no one who can push Cat. No. That's not the case. Big boosted, and Citizen gets away with a lot more than the comeback team should have allowed. Now it's down to two. They're in the A side at least, but good luck getting much further. Keto's dropped a man through the smoke. Obo's dropped him, but now in a one-on-one -on -one towards CT, finding that kill. Another man close as indeed, and Obo's not ready for it. Tabson finds him, and Big will take five with three alive as well. So a bit of a moneymaker there for Big. They needed that, as Complexity certainly have cash to fall back on as well. Look at these shots from Searson, very quick, very clean. You can see that Molotov behind him fading as he falls back. And Complexity, now they've just got to be very aware of that fast mid play, right? It was a good solution for Big as they lost mid in the last couple of rounds. A lofty utility dumpstered into middle from Complex. Right, well, Tabson. <laughs> Yeah, you thought that that was going to be enough util and everything, but apparently not. Oh, literally three smokes. Tapson doesn't just shoot through the window smoke. There's two at short and he just lands the spam. Tizian's found Ovo in the meantime, and this leaves Blamer now as the last man standing here for complexity. 1v4 required. And Blame F might have taken us to new heights yesterday on Vertigo, but here on Mirage, it's a very different story. Trying to sneak on in through the apartments and big once again assembling this boost at short side complexity. There's going to be a uh, player watching for Blame F's push and he does isolate that one fight there onto Tizian. Knows that there's a man in the boost as well, but Tabson's able to connect the shot. So big, they're going to tie this one up at six to six. And now, you know, it just feels like a matter of moments since we were saying, oh, well, Complexity, they've got a chance to break Big's money. You know, they kept five alive. Things are looking good. Well, that's now a distant memory with the last few rounds going the way of Big. It's them who have their money broken. They're only down to these pistols now, Hugo. Oh, how the tables have turned, Harry, and quickly as well. Complexity might just go back to this Hail Mary at B. That's what they were doing on a lot of their early Ecos to no avail. Flash out in mid, Searson won't get a chance to fight. He's just going to fall out and give complexity control. Big don't know what guns are in play right now. They haven't seen anyone. And so for all they know, it could be a full rifle round. Worth keeping in mind here as that flash denies the information. Nice grenade, though. And that's going to find a good bit of damage. Now info starts to be picked up by Big as they see players towards connected. They hear the Deagles rain off. Nice shot. Boost up into the window. Worth noting, config is here. So complexity do have some map control in this round but with p250 and 40 health i can't imagine config will find a lot of value for this position big have done a really good job of just kind of negating the jungle by not playing it and uh, there's not really anywhere complexity can go to get a kill from that position right if you come through jungle you go ct citizens watching it you go a tapson's there with keto you go b where well, you're a long way away from finding those players deep in sight who are looking at market on a timing so big are very aware that config could be in this position and complexity are not getting any value out of it they're just going to try and split a but you would imagine with no utility these rifles should make quick work of them oh the re-smoke and keto gets a moment of vision before that smoke pops you love to see that oboe as well spotted in connector Ooh. actually uncharacteristically so a couple of missed shots from sit there never mind there you go mate just nails it the third time around of course he does config now over here in jungle and not exactly all fun and games here for config that's such a nice round for big man. You see so many teams panic when they know they've lost that like control or, or, or even just information towards the window room and, and that the T's can boost up and likely have, right? You see teams completely panic and, and put three or four of their players focusing on the fact that they're getting flanked. All you need to do is be aware of it as a timing. Uh, big just kind of tuck into the site and don't let that window player get any kills. They don't you know make any noise near that position. They don't play market to allow conflict to fight from a headshot angle. It's just not a thing. So that eco is removed and now a rifle round for Cole, uh, Cole and they've got a kill with it. Dropping tabs and early in the window. That's going to be Blame Air finding another first frag for complexity, a common occurrence for this in-game leader. 
he grabbed the bomb and they group back up towards A. Searson destroys Obo up in the apartments with the orb headshot. And he's going to push with his knife out. Confidence stuff, but maybe some information being gained here for Big. Maybe they know something that we don't. Call a double con. Big could have heard it. And with this A play coming on, it's clear as day to Big. Molly in the top of the connector, and they do go running on through it. So Tara is going to have his work cut out for him, and Poison is just kind of sick and tired of waiting around. So he tries to kickstart this round on his own. He has left complexity in a good spot. Now Tizian firing all the bullets in the world in through the wood, only doing 50 points of damage there to Poison. Searson on this ramp flank in the meantime. Off on a ramp flank, never ideal, but definitely workable, especially if uh -oh. you're the explosive kind of guy that Searson is. And in this situation now, it's actually great. Like, while they were grouped up and there was trade potential, yeah, the AWP's not ideal, but he just picks the target off from afar, holds down the ramp, and Searson, a real menace. Like, just disgusting. 17 and 3. Absolutely unreal performance from him right now. And it's leaving Big in a great spot. 8 to 6. A chance at a ninth because they've broken the economy of complexity here going into round 15. And, and denying this bomb plant, not only did it win you the round if you're big, right? Like, because you just found all the kills immediately on the back of it. But look at what it's done. $800 would have gone so far here for complexity. They had players on 3K. And that extra $800 would have made all the difference between getting a few extra rifles into this round. Getting any rifles. Yeah, as a result, they've literally got nothing. They've got the Scout. They've got a Mac 10 and some upgraded pistols. That's what they're relying on here to try and find the seven. Full on beast mode for Searson right now, and Complexity have had very little success on eco rounds towards B. Now, this one is fully utility. They can go for any kind of execute they want, but that bomb is still in spawn, so you know something is going on, some kind of trickery here for Complexity. Who are they fooling? Not us. Not big either, as they grew back up, leaving B towards a T-spawn, going in for this A execute. Keto, he's in the site. He's often been under balcony or close towards ramp, so Complexity should certainly be thinking about that one as they come into A. And Searson's going to re-smoke the ramp at the right time as well. That will put a 15-second delay on this execute from Cole. No other choice but to go for it, though. Poison's got the scout, which could be good in the post part, but getting into the site is going to be very difficult against these rifles. Oh, and Keto is going to try and get cute around this smoke. Now he comes to regret that decision very, very quickly. Now I have a Searson. He just sees this as an opportunity to be allowed more kills. So let's see what he puts up. There's the 5 7. Snapping Turtle. Fighting down another. Obo gets removed. Searson over here in CT, and he's got teammates holding the line one by one. Oh, hi there. Fancy seeing you here on the Plains of Mirage. Come here often? Because I do. But wait, <laughs> they're putting this one split right down the middle, Hugo. And uh, yeah, as far as introductions go, that was probably not my best work. Here we go. It's going to be a pistol round for Big now moving into this T side of play. And they are leading as of right now. Play F. He's kind of like, you know, Ooh. he's over having to sit back and, and play Counter-Strike the way it's meant to be played. He runs in, he finds his fight in top mid. And this is quite a bit of map control to have if your complexity in this pistol round. Tizian is actually trying to fake it out over here towards the A-bomb site, but Complexity haven't fallen for it. This isn't their first rodeo. They've played a Mirage game before. Obo inside of B, taking his time to pick his fights, and it will be Zantara's wrapping onto him to find that trade. Bomb plant now solidified, and a three on three. Config trying to get the damage off down through short, but nothing connects. This leaves Blame F and Rush up against it all. Ooh, and Searson, he's trapped on the site right now. Tizian's come in and saved his life, dropping blame in the apartments, and Rush with a kit smoke might just have to stick the bomb. He needs a kill before that point, though. Surely Big won't lose this one in the post plant. He's not even tapped it either. He's just trying to find a fight, and Tizian will give him one that he won't forget. Three kills from Tizian, and a big round from the big boys. Complexity, man, they, they're such a free team. They play so loose and, and, and love playing mobile. But what that often does is just leave Obo alone on B on, on the CT side in so many maps. The least experienced player in the server playing one of the harder roles in this game. And, you know, we saw that yesterday on Vertigo. That was a constant problem. Obo getting left at the back of B, uh, the B bomb site. You know, one man can't stop an entire rush. And, well, Cole, they're going to fall short of that pistol round. Big. Lots of SMGs, a couple of rifles in play. We have that force up for Cole in the second. 
now this is big, winning both pistols in this map. Remember though, they won the CT pistol in the first half. Cole forced up and they won that with Deegs. So, oh well, look, Cole, they forced up and they've got Deegs. I wonder what's going to happen. Well, Blame F has dropped himself a little smoke to work with down here at the bottom of Con. Smoke without fire, and that will come later from Big. They throw the molly in to clear out this close corner in connector. That's a lot of Cs. What is Blame F going to see on his little trip into mid? He tries to peek down through the window. Keto and Tizian are here, and Keto is going to get boosted inside. Now, Blame F has just gone back into CT. The timing. Almost going in favor of Keto, but he was spotted, and so now he's just stuck in window. There's a deagle from Config. These deags always feel like they get out of hand, and a lot of this round now hinges on a man like Zatara over in Palace. But this is a full stack of A. You're bang on, Hugo, and these deagles will continue to do damage the nade even more. Zatara's out from Palace. He had to do it all, and he only gets one. Big, they're still committing. They're still going in. And unsurprisingly, doesn't go their way. It's one of those rounds where I think, you know, you realize it's a stack, but you're so deep, you're so yeah. committed. Like, you don't have any other options at that point in time. And so you do just have to have faith that you can win it versus the Deagles. And lo and behold, they couldn't quite win it versus the Deagles. So that is just sometimes how the cookie crumbles. Both pistols for big in this game, both forces for complexity. That's such a weird one, right? Consistency on both sides of the car, uh, cards, coin. Doesn't matter what you're looking at, Harry. Things have size. And... Two of them. Seriously, he's wow. only got one side, and it's pure rage and domination. And that's all he's showing us right now in this game. 20 and 4. Ugh. How? That's not allowed. Yeah, man, he's just, uh, he's just like shoving blame F how it feels to have someone do this in a game you're in, right? Obviously, he had that stellar Vertigo game yesterday, so... Yeah. Oh, look at this, Keto. Patient, patient little devil. And they don't know he's here. Oh, Knife. Flame F. Knife. Flame F, sorry, my friend. Knife. This is it. Keto, he wanted to go for the knife, but like yeah. he knows that with each passing second of Flame F getting he further and further around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those rooms where like, you know, if you're if you're JW, maybe you commit to that. But, yeah. you know, don't waste 20 not everyone is walking JW. behind him, right? <laughs> Back to, uh, oh, well, we, hey, we got it in HD quickly. now. We yeah. got it in HD, the big clan HQ. Of course, for those as well unaware, the Americans over in the side of complexity, that big Russian oboe, are situated in Denmark right now, where they've been living uh, for 2020, pretty much all of it. So playing over in Europe and Complexity, I imagine, have had a lot of pretty good practice as a result. Right now, this is more than practice, though. This is hard work for Big, and it's paying off 11 to 7. Complexity, they may have won that force by round, but followed up immediately onto by Big. Full rifles out now. And a couple of SMGs. Big are going to group back towards that A site. The bomb is still in middle, but Tizian's coming out under. So it looks like a standard mid take with the A side split for Big. Standard stuff. Cole running two towards B, and both of their Famas is in that B bomb site as well. Actually, sorry, yeah, Blame F is towards the connector. My bad. Poison's also in the window, but he's been tagged up early and has to fall back. Obo's taking a lot of map control. That can free up a rotation here. This is the right time to move someone over if he wants to a config. He will consider it. Oh yeah, they see Zantara is getting out, and this is like, this is kind of, ooh, nice. I was going to say, it's forced over to try and get a bit curious into the apartments, and that was a, a fight that he's able to win out somehow, some way. So now for big, you know, they lose all that B map control. And the last thing they saw was Obo going aggressive. This is A, maybe going to force them to leave Tabson holding on to the aggro push, which is never going to arrive. And secondly, it forced big to commit to this A play. They lose all this B map control. So where else can they go but A? And in trying to hit this A site, they get churned up. They get shut down. It's almost a full stack here for complexity. And yeah. Tabson, after waiting for, you know, 20, 30 seconds in top mid for a B push that never comes, he tries to rotate down through middle. Uh, and then actually, ironically, you know, does meet Oboe again there, but uh, it doesn't go his way. Poison with a stellar hold here on the scout. And, and Hugo, you were saying how complex you know, they're a very mobile team, and that's definitely working in their favor right now. The little, like, bits of info that they give over to Big, they just use to their advantage. They try and, like, get in the heads 
of the uh, the opposition. Yeah. It just stacks so many players. Like, every one of these rounds thus far has been big walking into a stacked bomb stuff. And I think Big probably wanted to go B as well after they saw Oboe get that kill, but they just knew the time wasn't there. And with how committed some of these Ramp and Palace players were, right, you just can't run like T-spawn all the way around in, thir with, in 30 seconds. I mean, you know, maybe you can hit the timing, but the bomb's not going to get planted. And even if it does, that's assuming no one for complexity slows you down, which isn't the case, right? You already know they have deep apps. So, yeah, nice stacks from Cole. Nice rotates on the CT side constantly keeping big on their toes and now we have a bit of a b play by the looks of things up catwalk for big it's gonna be a man in the apartments maybe selling the fake but no here come the rest of the t's tizian with a crucial entry it's push config back in the bomb site he is going to be covered but that smoke oh it gives him a bit of room but luckily enough everyone sees him from short and big are just going to overwhelm him at the back of the bomb site cole nothing they can do they have to save here big 12 rounds off the back of nothing look at this buy it's just relying on rifles Kiso only just picked up that AK, Config had it, and there was no utility for Big. They get up Catwalk with barely any nades, and somehow, someway, it's going to be a flawless round. This is such a weird second half, because, like, normally, you know, games are pretty, like, easy to read, kind of ebbs and flows, and you get a feeling for how it's going to go, but this has just been back and forth and back and forth, and it's showing absolutely no signs of stopping. Actually, Harry, I think this is the sign of yeah, stopping. This is where well, I put my money on big start so, the street grounds. But do you think, I mean, I'm imagining the four spies are at least going to continue for complexity, yeah, right? No, so you're just... you're throwing like your, your prediction out there that you think this is where big start chaining yeah. them together. I but mean, quite is... to agree, right? Because they finally yeah. got like a bank of money on the back of keeping five players alive. So they can actually withstand the loss here and still be investing anyway. Um, and also, like, the, the, the reinvestment that Complexity are going to have really will, like, pale in comparison to what they've had in rounds prior. Exactly. Yeah, and they're not, yeah, even they're not actually it. even going to go for it. So That's the, the right call. It's not the call that anyone wants to make. It's not the call that, that feels right at the time. But if you want to win this game, you've got to do it. And Complexity have to hold out for the later rounds where they actually have money. Nice push from Rush. He could get value. He could still win this one. Oh. Miss Grenade is a shame, but there's a follow-up from Blame, and that will land perfectly. Smoke as well. If Big commit here, that is a big problem. And they're going to go for it by the looks of things. And Molly lands, and no, Big will bail. Right decision, right? We talk about these stacks of complexity. We talk about Big committing when they don't need to. And this is a perfect example of when they don't need to. So back to spawn they go. Config is here, and he's about to uncover the terrible truths of this round. P250 finds one. Config needs a double. Oh, he's done it. Oh, Config with a pistol, bro. and he just shuts down this entire damn round. There's nothing that can stop him but Tizian with one. And now in a one-on-three to save the day. Oh, it's so gross. How has Config done that? How has he done it? Tizzy and falls, and that's the round. We got an in-game insight with Pimp now over on the, the digital desk. Let's see what he's got for us. Yeah, it's uh, good to see complexity getting it going. Here we got a clip from the first half. If we play it out, we can see they're in a three versus two situation. The problem for complexity in that first half was that they were not decisive enough. You can see Poison, Blame F, and Rush not really making a move soon enough. So Citizen comes in with the flank, kills Blame F, and that is the reason why complexity only got away with six round. A little bit more decisiveness, decisiveness, sorry, in the play, and they will probably be leading right now. Back to you, Hugo and Harry. Thank you very much, Pimp. Man, I love that. that. Yeah, yeah, let's bring that in even more. And Pimp's whole face covered the minimap. And I honestly think that should be like an adjustment made to Counter-Strike, period. <laughs> Just the option to have his face there, staring back at you at all times. Yeah, motivating you, letting you know you're doing a good job. And uh, Just yeah. overall, you know, like being a helpful... He, he can like take that. over the He's like a tip. little paperclip on Windows. Hey, yeah, do you yeah, need yeah, help entering this great. site? That would be great. And like for G2, it would say like, oh, hi, like here's the bomb site. This is yeah. where the bomb the goes. The game instruction. Flash is diffused. It would be pretty cool. Cool. Let's dude. see. Poison is the scout out in mid. Not scout, sorry. It's the big brother to that. It's the AWP. And there's a scout. There was one in play. The little brother to the AWP, unsurprisingly, does actually win that fight somehow, some way. And now Blame F down here in Connector. Well, he's trying to get a little bit, a little bit aggressive behind this smoke, trying to get stuck in. And Config was desperate to soak up as many of these mid kills as he could. Does actually get taken down. And while all this madness has gone on, Keto, after dealing with Config, hops his way into window. And he's trying to make a real big boy play here. Zintares is like the man left with Ooh. the responsibility of closing this round out. And it was Keto to give him a little window of opportunity to begin this play. A 1v2 now required from Zintares. It's a very open plant at B. 
looking towards the market and this is where both rush and oboe are coming from they're playing this one together they're playing for the trade this is the right way to do it but zintara is swinging wide not able to find the shot it's oboe with three and a defuse for complexity as they themselves now reach double digits as well a great round from oboe and even though that that, that push from him going towards under and, and getting the kill gives away the fact that b is clear for zantara's Oboe just shuts it down, man. Crouching into the market, waiting for the peak. He knew Santaris wanted to force the fight. And, well, to his own demise. It's going to be Cole finding 10 here. Finally warming up and, and getting back-to-back -back rounds, right? That's been something we've not had all half for either team. Cole are the first to do it. And so that certainly bodes well in a game that looked like Big were pushing over the line. It will be denied, at least in the short term. Big with another eco round. They've got to take a breather. Let Cole get 11. This is where this game really heats up, Harry. This is where the 30 rounds and maybe even more could appear for complexity. Fast smokes over this A bomb site by the looks of things. We've got three up in the palace. Big, they want a bomb plant. That's the aim of the game in this round. If they can get a default plant, that would be lovely. Just about getting past Rush. He is going to mow down two. Bomb dropped. Needs to be picked back up on the balcony. And they'll go right, right past it. No one retrieving the package. They need the money. And they're not going to get anything in this round. Glock out for Tizzy and finds a gun. But good luck getting past this point, Keto. Oh, through the smoke. This is still doable after all. Oh! Harry, what in good's name is this, man? <laughs> oh, dear. Nice shots though, great eco round, right? Like for Big, you just gotta reset. You gotta move forward and forget about it because now a round up still, Cole are oh, catching up. Big need to focus on picking up this follow-up round. Otherwise, Cole will be back in the lead after an anti-eco. Damage done. Between Blame and Taps and Convict. He doesn't realize there's a player out on B. Oh dear, he gets a surprise. A flash is going to fly in Tizian and Convict will take him down. Poison on a big rotation with the AWP. He is here in time. Scoped up, looking for picks. Bait of the shot by Zantara as he gets legged on the cross. This bomb not been planted and Blame's killed a lurk in middle as well. Complexity with a man up on the retake. Tizian holding on to the... Uh market looking for this kill and it will present itself so now a three on three given over and another kill from searson once again through these smokes rush does come in from the market and doesn't fare well blame f all alone and he's running for the hills it's the 13th on the board for big as they break down this b side of the map oh devastated there as well you muted think, in the keto I, well round. no so i think uh, i think one of these cables came out because uh, the the mic was no longer registered as the default device there so yeah that wasn't oh. ideal but we've amended it we fixed it there's obviously some problems with the uh a few little technical hiccups you hate to see that, but you love to see this from Big. Getting I think up it to was 13. loud enough for your mic. Yeah, I, I imagine, it, right? Because like, like, yeah. that was nuts. Uh, so, <laughs> not ideal. I would have felt a lot more bad if Keto actually won the round. But man, this is nuts from Big. I love some of the big individual plays that we've got to see. Uh, it yeah. really has been just such a brawly game of Counter-Strike. Honestly, these two teams out of this group have, have been the most fun to watch. I think that's yeah. definitely fair to say, right? I think individually as well, like when you look at the storylines within these two squads, there's just so much going on for both of them. Like with Big, there's this whole storyline of like Tabson sticking around, trying to build this great team up, right? In spite of the results, never really being there for Big. And now they're on the rise with this new look squad. Zantara is obviously in the fold as well. Like he, he alone is a great talking yeah. point within this team. And even and then just, for yeah. complexity, there's just so many names we could talk about, man. We could go on all day, but I think we should focus on the round at hand. That's a nice shot from Poison in through the smoke. I feel like in these last rounds, there's been more smoke kills than there have non-smoke kills, yeah. Hugo. This is wild. Oboe gets dropped at bench. Config trying to wrap on through towards Connector. Is he ready for the close man? Not looking like it. Santarez holding down the, the Connector area, denying these rotations, really locking in this round. It's only Blame F left. And he held on to the AWP at the end of the round prior. So that's probably going to be his, uh, his kind of objective here as he's tucked himself in behind the mid boxes. 
14 on the board for big though and this is on the map pick of complexity this is a very good look to the day and we've got Vertigo coming up next as well. I don't really know what to make of that one, right? We've had that for both teams. Big uh, taking on Mouse Sports on that map yesterday, picking it up as well. It was a close one, though, and uh, a big comeback on the CT side. Uh, 12 rounds, in fact, after getting 11 forward, I remember, in the first half. So Big have certainly got that up their sleeve, but... Ooh, blame! Oh, my! No scoping Keto at the top of middle. If he had his gun out in time, that could have been a kill. But could have is not enough. And either way, he's going to get away with something here. That's nice to see for complexity. Not completely useless in this round, right? They've got a weapon, but that is it. Up against 14. Big looking to push us at least into overtime territory. At least into, you know, 15 locked in. And towards the A site, they're going to try and do it. Three in the palace. That's where the orb sits. This couldn't be better for complexity, who are five man stacked up on this A bomb site. Blame F. Spotting the first man in, sees the elbow config, tries to go running it after it. Oh, how's oh, he done no. that? How's he done that? That's a USP finding a double. And oh, config another, but surely not four. Three is enough though. The USP has somehow risen above the rest. And Tizia just getting whittled down. Surely there's no hope. And there is not. The USPs, they come in clutch. It's one kill from the hero orp in that round. Three from Config's USP and one from Blame F on the USP as well. Because I... after Blame hits that shot, everyone tries to chase him down. They hear him run, they hear him take the ladder. He does that on purpose, he doesn't drop. He's trying to make noise to bait in the tease and Config is still there, not moving, not shaking, just waiting. Winning an eco, a full eco for complexity and getting a double up off the back of it. Config's feeling good. Uh, Blame is stealing kills. He's going to save his life in the middle. Looking for more after the flashbang, but a man up right now. And biggest economy is broken to complexity. Having given more than a lifeline into this map and series. Chance to still get this win in regulation. And this eco is going to be nothing of the sorts for big. They're not going to be anywhere near the effect of complexity's full usp round seeming like a five alive 13th if <laughs> really wants the kill and he will get it so now 40 sorry 13 on the board for complexity almost tying this one up there's another reinvestment to come through from big ah oh, man this is great like this is this is just such a brawl of a game. This is like if you like took two of the best MMA fighters and they were just having like some bar fight. You know, that's what it feels like. They've got the technique, but it is just such a brawl at the same time. And I'm absolutely loving it. This is almost a full 30 round game. Ooh. And it's only taken like, like 40 minutes to get this far. That is just wild. These games are normally, you know, hour long. So these have been fast. These have been explosive rounds. And I'm loving every moment of it. They're going to get out into the top of mid. Now, they've been pretty good. Whenever Complexity have started to chain together a few rounds, they've been good at denying any sort of massive streak, right? So let's see if that kind of stays true to big. They're really hoping it does now more than ever because they've got no money. They've got 14. If they win this one, if they get it over the line, they're going to be on that coveted map point. And they dodge like a, a reset up against the really hazardous scoreline if complexity do find this round. So, so this one is going to make all the difference as to how this map paints uh, or ends up panning out rather. And, and against a far better buy, right? Like not only do Big have limitations with utility and even tabs on on a Galil, but Cole have double orb, and we only see that off the back of them winning that eco round with USPs. Oh, massive kill for Keto. Now he's got control of the jungle area as well. With that smoke coming down from under, there's no one here from Cole that can stop big on the A site. It's only a fake though. They've actually drawn complexity away from B with that control towards jungle. That's a massive bit of movement, but Cole aren't falling for it. They've realized what's going on. Being pushed in the apartments, Obo's coming for help. Kizos dropped another one A though, and Blame is going to bounce back with his rotation, staying on the A site. That's where the bomb is now going. Bigger bailing from B, and it is the right call to make. Blame has still gotten the kill from this position though, and so the bomb is hesitating. Tapson's low. He Need support and he will get it down oh, or at least no. five for short this will get denied config misses the shot taps and escapes with the bomb is able to plant on the other side of default and this is still a winnable round for big 
Yeah, now they spot as well that Tizian was lurking over in the connector. They know that there's a man isolated from the rest of the group. And so complexity, they're really looking to deal with Tizian. A lot of this round is going to come down to how much of a fight he can put up. And the fact that he's dealt with one in connector, that is going to bode well. Config comes in with the trade, but this has left Obo alone at the A-bomb site, trying to take the 1v2, and he's not able to do it. Config is saving this AWP. It's 15 on the board for Big, just five kills away from taking complexity's map pick away from them. Terrorists win. Yeah, the save is successful, but that's about all is successful for Cole on that round. It's a bit of a heartbreaker. Considering, you know, at one point, Big were about to commit into B, uh, and Cole had the majority of their players B. Big made the really, really good call of, of leaving that site despite losing a man on A to blame F74 from CT. They still get past him. They force him out of the site. They get an orb on Tapson, who's low anyway in that post plant, and he's able to shut out the round. Two orbs again for Cole. They've got everything they need and more, but what they need more than anything is two rounds. Take us to overtime here in the first map, in their map pick as well, right? Because that's the alternative. Big Steel Cole's map pick, and that certainly sets them up for a 2-0. I say that, I don't believe it. I know that Cole have a lot to show us on the map of Vertigo, and Big's T-side was certainly lacking yesterday. So, well, that CT side made up for it. You know, you need two convincing halves and complexity. Well, they had eight rounds on either of them. So they know they're not out of the woods yet. Being big, that is. And in towards this B site, they will commit this potentially final round of play. Obo is in the apartment, and the Molotovs land perfectly. He's going to get away with one and drop off. And there's a three-man stack here for Complexity Big. Are they going to commit into a stack again? It feels like it. The flashes are good in response, and Tarez will answer back with one and Big. They're reconsidering. They are realizing that in walking into this B site, they just might find themselves in the belly of the beast after all. Poison still holding the cross from market. That's an easy kill for Poison. Searson swinging into his crosshair, and now Obo here to deliver another. Big, they, they had the hunch that it was the stack. Zentara's actually started to go back, and you know, he was also keeping an eye on the lower push, but they, they break away, they try and do the classic of like, you know, just putting some doubt in Complexity's head before they recommit. And in a four on three, I don't think you were going to tempt Complexity much with a rotation. Zantara is now left in this clutch, and when he does get the first, it's not followed up, it's not continued. OT on the cards, one away from it. We either run this back again, or Big take this map. Those are the two options on the back of this next round. Yeah, big man. You can see that that the penny dropped the moment of realization where you're like, oh, wait, we really just messed this up, didn't we? We really lost this round. When they commit to B, they lose a first man, then Molly's cut them off. And then you're just trapped in the apartment. And, and, and you know two things. You know, not only complexity are going to be stacking the site, but they're already going to be flanking you. You can't really go elsewhere. And even if you do, there's so much map control to clear out and so little time to do it big. Well, luckily, there might be a little more time to play. Some overtime, perhaps, with Big's money being on the rocks. It's going to be an eco. I mean, a force, right, but really looks as good as an eco. One rifle for Big. Searson gets a scout. Keto on the Galil. Three pistols and complexity. I mean, they are armed and dangerous. That's one thing we know about these guys. Blames on 25. Obo at 20. Looking good as well. Searson's had a fantastic game, but not the AWP in his hands in the most crucial round of them all. Config, like, intercepted the mid-smoke, but that wasn't his intention. <laughs> he didn't mean to do it. He was trying to land the cat jump, and he got trapped down in lower wow. tunnels as a result. 10 out of 10 block for the smoke, but that was not what he wanted in this round. Oboe's going to hold down B. It might not matter. It might not matter the Config fell early on, because Oboe has got this whole B site under lock and key. Zatares now in the 1v4. A very unlikely round for this man. And with two players inside of the B site, the bomb dropped here as well. This is really a tough spot to be in. He's looking for anything, and they're not going to give it up. It's Oboe to solidify overtime with three. And we run it back again. This Woo. is kind of what I wanted from this matchup. I'll be honest. You know, I wanted this to be a brawl. I wanted it to be a bloodbath. And boy, are these two teams delivering right now. Yeah, I mean, this was a world where Big were going to roll over complexity at one point. They were in a commanding lead after, you know, not only the first half, but the way that the pistol followed. It looked like Big could have streaked some serious rounds together. But Cole, a forced by win as they did in the first. And that is a nice shot from Searson.
Cole have made this OT. Can they take it over the line in their map pick, or will it all be in vain? The man down in this round, Rush on the cross, is dead. Big grouping away from A now with the bomb. We talk about Obo being left at B. This is one of those uh, situations here for complexity. Luckily enough, Config has so much map control, but he's watching lower. Does he realize with big sneaking to his right that they're coming up the top side of mid and lower at the same time? It's a bit of a danger. Config, oh no, no one realizes. See, <laughs> might see him on the jump if he looks, but why would he look? That's the question. Oh, he's clearing no. mid. Config is flanking, and he's dropped the bomb. Can find one more. Missed shot, Sirson trades. Big kill from Sirson's orb. The bomb back under the control of big, and a man up in this round. Flame F has been stellar. In every complexity game, it feels like, and this one is absolutely no exception. In this round, he was trying to hold down Connector. He was trying to give it a kill through that smoke, and it does not go his way. Poison now. His turn to try step up with his weapon of choice. He's going to move over towards the B site. Complexity, they're taking a bit of a gamble here. They're stacking at B. Tizian's throwing utility into the bomb site. And that's the thing, right? Like, at this point, this is where Big committing into these stacks constantly feels like it's kind of worked in their favor. It feels like thus far in this game, wherever they've shown their hand first is where they've looked to end up. And so with that utility getting thrown in from Tizzy and Complexity, they do just bank on it being a B play, which it ends up obviously being this fake. And so they're just going to have to save in the first round of OT. Never a nice feeling, given that money isn't really much of a problem here. Yeah, I mean, that is a rough one, right? Uh, right? Like, saving a, a max money OT, oof. It's, it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything it's not gonna provide anything complexity you just know that this round isn't really winnable and that they may as well you know max out their cash they could still afford the orbs it's just a case of like who buys it right your rifler would need to buy you an orb in the third round of the half that's that's all that means so nothing really but what else can cole do that was an unwinnable round as soon as they left the uh, left the site and that's why i was wondering a little bit about the gamble stack it's going to be an exit from big and a round locked in in OT. They're probably wishing they had that money back at 15-14 now, huh? Because they have been taken or big have been given an opportunity to take a clean half here. Or a powerful poison. No double up in OT for complexity. Config burned from going for the cat jump, I think. Yeah, the whole game plan normally changes when you move into OT. Usually you see it become a lot more kind of, uh, a lot more explosive and like a, a, a lot less kind of regimented, right? Like you do just kind of win however you can if you if you find yourself in OT. And so a lot of it is just trying to keep the pacing high. And uh, that's why this big side gets pretty interesting because they've been playing a very, very explosive T side in regulation. Here in overtime, it is a lot slower. These rounds have been at a crawling pace, and I like this adjustment yeah. from Big's complexity. They were getting a lot of these freebie rounds, it felt like, on the back of these fast plays. I think a bigger, real, bigger realize not only utility is going to be amassed by, by complexity, but you've really got to focus and deal with that AWP. You've got to smoke it off. You've got to use your utility right. You can't just like run and gun down middle like they were so many times. Like Big are running up catwalk out of spawn, trying to cheese their way to B, like Config did many times in, in their T side, but Complexity have not allowed that in the CT side. So Big, they force them to play a little more passive. They go for a B fake here, trying to, uh, you know, similar cat play, and that might force rotations away from A. Oh, nice shot from Keto, trading quickly. Searson misses his, and Config's dropped the A man. That's exactly where this bomb is going as well. A full execute into the site. Rush is the only man here. Config overwhelmed and taps him with a double out of the ramp. It's a big kill. And Sears has dropped over down on B as well. There's nothing for complexity in this round. They get absolutely baited. And Blame F is all that stands now in a one on three. He knows. Ooh, bye bye. Hey, that's going to delete Searson. So he's dealt with the AWP. Now smoking that Molly. He knows he's got to be fast here. And that's really emphasized by using his only smoke grenade 
not saving it for the post plant. Oh, oh sorry, trying to get this defuse. Instead, he's hunting the kills. He knows he needs them. He puts the first one up, and now it's just Tizzy and left, but hi hiding up in Palace. Tizzy is not budging, not wavering, and will peak right now at the very end to try <laughs> take Blame F down with him. Oh, Blame gets all the kills needed to clutch the round, puts himself up on 30 frags in this game. It's not enough to put the round on the board for complexity, and so Big taking two out of three in the first half here of overtime. One away from this flawless streak. And since they've pumped the brakes, since they've slowed it down a bit and just looked to be a, a tiny bit more methodical in the mid round here, Big have just been coming out on top time and time again. It felt like, you know, in like those crunch mid round moments where you're in like a four on four or like a three on four, we just saw complexity kind of cave in on Big every single time and just, and just knock them down in regulation. But here, it's very much been the other way around. That could be pretty heartbreaking for Complexity after they kind of grinded this one out to an OT. If you just get swept in overtime, that's never going to be a nice feeling. No, especially not, you know, on your map, because while this is where you're supposed to have the deeper pool, all the ideas and the solutions to the problems that Big are presenting, but some very slow rounds and Big have had some really, really nice ones in this overtime. Two in a row, looking for a third. Double Orb is in play. And this is what I talked about when I mentioned like that first round save, right? It just provides no value. It does nothing for Cole. They can still afford the orbs without really any worry. So yeah, it's worth noting in 16 KMR3 that, that saves feel unnecessary at the best of times. Flash into B, Complex sees the cross, nice shot. Predicts the swing and gets the win. He finds Antares up in B, boost up the Keto, and that's something that no one was ready for. We've not seen a lot of window boosting in this game, and Big throw it in in overtime to get a kill. Obo hears the boost up, he's ready for Sears and sprays for the second taps. And gotta be careful, that's the bomb you're playing with, and he does get that trade, keeping this round alive for Big in the process. He's going to reroute in and join up with Keto here in jungle. They're trying to split into this A site and two players here for complexity. Now they deal with Rush, but they are not going to expect Blame F also in Palace. Ooh, finds the first, denies the bomb plant, and Tizian is a long way away from A. Tabson, you don't feel... Uh... You don't feel good for him here, and even though Blade does get traded, there's just no time for Tizian in this 1v1. Config wins it out by just staying alive, and that is a stellar round for Blame F. So many of those key rounds for Big, they would like be in three on threes, and they would try and fake out Cole by, you know, in that case, they had a player, I think it was Tizian up in the apartment, sorry, it was Util uh, towards B, and then they went for a two man execute through the window towards A. Well, Col uh, Cole had two A anyway, and they had no, I, no intention of adjusting because of regulation. A lot of rounds, Big would do those kind of fakes in three on threes. Cole would adjust and they get punished by it. So nice, uh, nice adapt or adaptations from Cole rather. You know, working out what Big are doing against them and winning the round as a result. It's Flame F, of course, finding all the kills required. Cole, they have one round to their name in the CT side. This is still winnable. They need a flawless half here unless they want either a double OT or a loss here. Those are both options. Config doesn't even consider the options, though. He would just simply take down Tizzy and Rush to follow. And that's a nice shot to see us. And Rush has been quiet when it comes to the numbers in this game. So that kill really does provide something. And Big are just pushing every position right now and getting punished for it. Yeah, that's the thing about this round, right? If you're complexity, you take that first man down and then everyone just starts holding and, and that's all they're still doing. And, you know, Big have already shown on the back of the second re-peak and then shortly followed by the third that in response to losing these players, they wanted to try and answer with aggression elsewhere on the map. So it's one of these rounds where complexity, you know, they, they kind of already know what's coming their way and they know that this just gets more profitable the longer they hold these positions. That's exactly why we see Zantares left in a 1v5 now. And while he does deal with the first man, the trade is instantaneous. Even Stevens now, 17-17. the first to 19 and two rounds to do it. So, got to be clean. You've got to be flawless in these next couple. And you talk about, you know, even Stevens, man. But one of these teams has to just do it at some point, Hugo. I was going to get really into that. I was going to really channel my inner Shire, but I don't really think he's been a thing for a few years. No, I, I, I've oh. seen, I've, I saw one hot ones. And that's, that's probably it since all those green screen videos. That's all I know that he does. And take me back to when... Good Shia LaBeouf is just making us meme videos. Transformers movies, man. Those, are, those yeah. are the days. 
Oh. We missed you, Shire. <laughs> 17 is 17. We know he's watching. Big Counter Strike fan. Yeah, always has been, always will be. Poisoning Keto, donning orbs. Now, the interesting one there is Keto on his. He's the secondary orb in this squad right now. CSN on the primary, and he. Uh, he was expected to be donning it, but a double orb set up for big. They're hoping this is the answer to their problems in this round. Ash is going out into middle early on. A complexity really trying to make this a, uh, a cornerstone of these rounds. They really emphasize this mid control. They're going to grab it. They're going to nap it away from big. Unless Searson has anything to say about it. Oh, and I think he does, Harry. A quick kill responded on by Confix. He can't escape or, or from the connector. That grenade on Cat does so much damage to the Zantaras. Needs to have his wits about him. They're chasing him down. They're hounding him from the back line. He's watching the apartments and gets away with a kill, but they're already up the pillars. They're already at the golden arches. And Zantares, oh, he gets a meal deal. He shuts down two before he's eventually dropped. Poison in a clutch, fakes the bomb, forces the kill, and gets it into a one-on-one. -on -one. Great play from Poison. Thinking the second player is close. But it's not the case. Keto was marking. He went all the way round. He jumped window to Cat, and he's now here on short side. Poison's read it. He's going to come back towards Catwalk. But does he know that the enemy is here, or is he trying to use his position as an escape to A? He's just waiting, hoping Keto overplays his hand in this clutch. But Keto is just chilling, just relaxing, and hanging out in the ladder room. Poison goes A. He's dead. Yeah, it's a horrible spot to be in as well, because like objectively going to A isn't even a bad call here, but there's no time anymore. Now it would be a very bad call. Tapping in the numbers and not accounting for this short play. Keto swinging on out. Poison there tries to use the uh, the flashbang, not in a way that you know you, you often see, which is to, to, to help you in winning a gunfight. He tries to use it as like a tool to get information. He throws it at Catwalk. Um, when no one goes firing off on the back of getting flashed, he kind of assumes like, okay, right, maybe there's no one there. Maybe I can get this bomb down. He was already anticipating the player was going to come from market. That was very, very clear from how he played that round early on. So... Yeah, Keto just hiding out, is able to get it done. And now it's map point once again, falling on the big side of things. But one round is all that's required for Complexity to send us to a double OT. They've done it before, they can do it again, Harry. Do big want to let this one slip. All up for Searson. It has been a commanding weapon in this game so far. He's going to look for a window pick, waiting for the smoke to fade and maybe a flash could follow. It's only one flash in play. It's Antares deep in B, so nope. Taps more Molly Con. Searson goes for the spot on his own. Sees nothing, but that's misinformation. Cole have three in mid right now. They're hiding as they don't want Big to know anything. They're waiting for Poison to get a kill. See if something is presented the way of complexity, and it is not. Look at how passive. Look how scared Cole are, and I don't blame them, right? Knowing that just you know, being that man to go down early could, could lose you this entire map, and you're picking the series as well. So you want to be so careful and cautious clearing these positions. Complexity are going to group up in middle and set their sights towards A. Oh, and it's Tabson to open up. Keto was never spotted in Sandwich as a result, and that's going to free him up to get one, but the Ooh. trades are in instantaneously. Oboe and Convict leaving it in a three-on-three. Three. This Molotov isn't going to deny the bomb plot, but Searson will follow up with a quick flick onto Oboe. As Antares over here at short side, trying to help his teammates out, isn't going to have a line into the site, isn't going to be able to spot any of these players, so he's got to pick up the pace. Tizian and Searson grouped up in CT, but Poison holds down the angle. And waiting for Zantares to come on in, but right now it back. all falls onto him. This is looking like another OT, yeah. and it gets locked in. Config and Poison, they'll send it back into overtime. We run it back again. And boy, oh boy, this <laughs> is the game that never ends, Harry. I feel like we've been, uh, yeah, we've been, I, I want to say cursed, but it doesn't feel like a curse because it's great Counter-Strike all, all game long, all day long. But we do love these double OTs here, Harry. We've had our fair share of them. Let's see how many more we've got, how many more rounds are in play. Keto, well, his round is no longer in play. He's been removed by Poison's Orb quick in the Palace. It was a heavy setup in A, four complexity, three Palace side. Molly lands and they're going to dip dive and deconstruct this setup. Big stack towards A, or at least Cole perceives that to be the case. That is not the reality. Big is still very much split, but Cole are going to look elsewhere. 
still want this A site, but right now they're just covering their back, making sure that Big haven't pushed and haven't flanked to allow for a full setup on A, and that is the case, meaning the fact that Cole have gone quiet here is in fact le led Big to lean away from the A site. Bit of a shame, bit of a misread, but what else can you do? It's just Santaris here on the balcony. Tarez going to have a lot to do here and well <laughs> had a lot to do now doesn't have much to do apart from sit back and wait and see if his teammates can close this round out see if will open up and now trying to dodge his way through this smoke he does get in not given an angle onto this bomb plant and the molotov might force a reposition out of the player in this site Ooh. actually it's a little too shallow and so as a result rush is allowed to overstay his welcome Actually, uh, it's actually Oboe, rather. Rush is up here in the palace. And Tabson creeping in from behind. Might just blindside Rush. He's not even considering it. So Tabson is going to leave this as long as he can. Ooh. Rush did turn. Rush Gary. did have a funny feeling. And Tabson's presence foreboding, looking down on him. Tabson needs to pick up the pace here in Palace, and instead he'll get knocked out of the round by Poison. Searson left in the clutch, which is not enough time. And Poison is there to solidify this round with three. 19 on the board at four complexity. They take the first this time around in the first half of our second OT of this first map in this series. It's quite the mouthful. Yeah, it's worth noting this series is the first series of three today in the DreamHack Master Spring, Spring 2020. We are on day six of 19. Uh, there's that a lot of Counter-Strike to be seen. Go. Rush, you saw him shake it off there. He had a little, uh, a little heebie-jeebie after that round. I don't blame him, holding Palace the entire time. And I'm then no one coming in from the back line. acting the, uh, the heebie-jeebies out. That's the key, Harry. Oh, the heebie-jeebie. <laughs> <Blame Yeah. them. laughs> That's what it's all about. Ooh, yeah, that is what it's all about. And well, Zantara's over here at short side. Oh dear, Blame F does find a kill, wrapping in through the connector. He pushed that smoke earlier on in the round and he was hiding. It felt like it was a matter of time before he was either uncovered or yielded some results from this position. And it is going to be the latter, leaving a four on four open to complexity now. This bomb over in top mid. It's going to be retrieved by Complexity before they make this play, but that's no problem for Poison. He's leaving mid now to do exactly that. So this one here, looking like it's going to end up over towards B. They did have Rush holding on to Palace, both to watch for aggression and also to leave the option open to go back to that A bomb site. But with Blame F dealing with a player in the connector, they've read into this that Big have likely rotated an extra man over to help out at this A side of the map. So they're going to try and hit B late, but Zantares is here. He's lined up this great little pop flash for his teammate inside of the site, and no one fires off, so there's no information gained from the flash, but now it becomes all too clear. The utility reigns on in. They've dealt with Zantares. They're not going to anticipate a second man here, Tizian. That was his chance to keep this round in the advantage of Big. And with him not getting a kill there, it's all falling apart. Keto, 1v4, not going to happen. He's just looking to hold on to the orb. I will say what is so clear to me is how quickly complexity have, have adapted to online play in Europe, right? Like when this team was first formed, online play was the bane of their existence. We'd see them at LAN, we see them at, you know, think about the start of the year in London at Blast. You know, th these guys took down some of the big dogs. They took down Astralis, Na'Vi. So, yeah, I mean, complexity was certainly looking like a threat there, but then following up online, they even fall in the EU minor qual to the likes of Smash in, in you know, their qualifying game. Luckily, uh, you know, ending up actually in the R to R, RTR, but yeah, you know, right now Masters, they're looking so good. Uh, we, we mentioned this earlier, they've been grinding those online cups recently, winning back to back home sweet homes and well now beating big as they have in the past before complexity. They haven't taken this over the line yet, but they've certainly put them in position. 22, 18, two left to find, and one round in this half for them to find it. Double orb out for big as well, worth noting. Keto has joined Searson on his 32 killing spree.
Uh, but yeah, just to finish off that point quickly, quickly, the fact that complexity can can you know, be in this game and go down so far, like in, in this this game has been big in control the entire way. It feels like looking at the half times and, and looking at the pistol rounds, and complexity have always had answers, which is so cool. You know, you're going down and pulling us back into overtime, being up against map point again, pulling us into another overtime. Like complexity are not giving up, and and that's great to see. It's especially helpful in their map pick where they, they certainly have a deeper playbook. And who knows how this will play out in the rest of the series. But right now, Complexity are giving us a hell of a game. And they might just take it over the line big. Is this all going to be for nothing in Complexity's map pick? All these rounds forgotten. If big can't take us to a victory here. It's a standoff right now. Ooh, that Molly has forced a bit of a reposition from Zantares. He's really playing with fire, but he's got out onto the cinder blocks. And that leaves him open to go back into the ladder room, but I don't think he's going to with this A play coming on in. He's got to begin this rotation. And oh dear, Keto falling in CT. Tapson has been hung out to dry at ramp, but he was trying to line himself up a bit of utility to bail himself out there. That's his demise, Zantares on this rotation. The Molly's going to force this bomb planter out from the site. The nade follows up. So Obo does get bought down low, but Blame F still floating around in jungle. And I've said this a few times, whenever I see Blame F still in the server, I feel a sense of calm. I feel a sense of poise. And this is exactly why he's doubled up. He's turned this back on its head. And it's Obo to round out a flawless half from complexity. This is where there's a real momentum shift, right? Because yep. Hugo, you were right. Big, they were the ones constantly in control. They were the ones reaching map point first, the two times that it's come in previously. And both times complexity have grinded their way back into it. And this feels like, you know, we've hit that tipping point where for Big, it stops being, all right guys, that we keep having this in our hands, we can still get it over the line. Now you're looking at this and you're worried that you've fumbled it. And it might have, that might be the case with two kills going the way of complexity complexity out of the gate, another one to follow. It's just Tabson and Tizian. This could be a flawless second overtime from complexity. And that is quite the statement when you think about just how close this map has been thus far. Yeah, four in a row and big with just no answers. This double up is dastardly in middle for complexity and it has a little bit more of it as well. Complexity fall out of middle. Funnily enough, they give Tabson room, but I mean, what can he even do with this room? Again, call a solo B. I think it's a big risk in this round. This is how big can two on five things. If they kill Oboe here, they get a chance to plant. They get a chance to pick post plants. And those CTs are so far away. Cole need to rotate a man over. And Poison will begin that point. But Tizian's already past the window. Oboe does drop him. Crucial kill. If Tizian gets a frag there, I wouldn't count big out of this round. But now it seems like I'm counting them out of this map. Tabson in a one on five. He's got a kill. He's looking for a second. He finds it. But Tabson is surely not. Oh, surely this is unreal. Surely this isn't going to happen. Missed jump. I don't know where he was aiming for there. One man at ramp, and that's Blame F lying in wait. Tabson's got to check oh. it, and he does.